Hello everyone. Welcome. Mm. So today's video, as you can tell, we are doing a little HP Lovecraft Cornell and Deal, Deal from Beyond. Now, I bought this a year ago. I thought it was pretty decent. I wasn't thrilled with it. I wasn't overwhelmed. Uh, not overwhelmed. I, well, what's the word? I uh, wasn't in love with it, I guess you could say. Um, but it wasn't bad. Uh, so this is the second time around. I waited a year. I originally wanted to go to H.P. Lovecraft, uh, his grave at Swan Point, and have a bowl of this tobacco, but I thought that might be rude. <laughs> or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not that it matters, because H.P. was kind of a uh, P.O.S., if you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> but, in any case, we're going to review this today, second time around. And, we'll, well, my second time around, we're going to review this and, and uh, see if my opinions change or whatnot. Uh, and we'll talk about H.P. Lovecraft, his writing, not the person. I can separate art and the artist very easily. I don't really care about H.P. He was a strange character, I'll say that. But um, he reminds me of <laughs> the things I read about him and people talking about him and whatnot. He reminds me of the typical Providence rich elite snob who looks down upon other people, ordinary, everyday people. But in any case, I will say his writing is very eloquent. Eloquent, I can't say the word, um, and interesting. And like I said, the, the beauty of books written around that time is the same thing with Christopher Morley in 1919, 1920, that era. They wrote so beautifully, uh, which is lost now. I don't think we write as well as we did back in the day. But uh, anyway, the reason why I'm, I picked HP is, well, it's spooky season, as you know. And, of course, I'm also smoking in my Herb Booth Halloween pipe, the Happy Jack-O-Lantern here. And uh, I've had this for a while. And this pipe is fantastic. I, I brought this. This has been living in the Jeep with uh, the Sleepy Hollow blend for a long And I don't know what bird that is. I think it's a wren that's out there. It's got a strange call. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I was going to smoke this at Sleepy Hollow. Same thing I was going to do with HP. And maybe in the future I'll do that. But, um, yeah. So I, was, I brought this. This has been living in the Jeep. Same with Sleepy Hollow. Um, it's been in the Jeep for a while. But uh, I remember today, I'm like, oh, i got to get my Halloween pipe. It's been, it's been a while. So grab that. Let's get into this review. Now this is... This has got Virginia. God, the writing is so small. Hold on. This might help. Let's see. Oh, that's a little better. <laughs> so we got uh, Latakia. Matured Virginia's uh, Orientals. Pure St. James uh, Perique. I can I can get the the Perique and the Latakia. I get Virginia. Anyway, these are my reading glasses. By the way, <laughs> I love these things. Ugly as can be, but I like how they fit on my face. That's what happens when you, you turn 46, which, not that I really want to mention it, but it is my birthday today, which is why I'm off. So, 46 trips around the sun has been, well, I don't want to jinx it, but I, I will say it's completed because, you know, I could drop dead at any moment, but I think I'm going to be safe to say I made it to 46. And the reason I chose this blend, now, I think when I was reviewing this initially, I said I never read anything by H.P. Lovecraft, which is strange because he's a Rhode Islander, he's from Providence, I got roots in Providence, and you would have thought I would have uh, read about him, because I, one of the things I like is actually horror uh, for fiction, which is funny because growing up I really wasn't, I wasn't 
but I like the classic kind of monster stories, mysteries, um, detective type. As you saw from my book haul yesterday with Dracula, Frankenstein, uh, Dr. Jekyll. I like those kind of classic stories. Not so much today's stuff, for whatever reason. Um, well, some of it's pretty good. I had one, what was it, uh, one I reviewed last year, 12, 12 Nights in a Haunted House or something like that. That was a good book. I, maybe I'll talk about that at some point. But anyway, um, I forgot where I was going with this. I lost my train of thought. See, 46-year-old, you lose your mind. Um, but yeah, I never read anything from H.P. Lovecraft, so I thought if I was going to go to H.P.'s grave, I should probably have read something from him, right? So instead of getting a book, which is odd, because obviously you've seen me with my books that I've got, like last video, I got more books. I ordered more books today after I said I wasn't going to do that, uh, and I did. Uh, I couldn't help myself. So I did. So there'll be more books, but I figured, well, if I'm going to do that, I should, because it was kind of a time crunch thing, because I had books I wanted to read, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get H.P. Lovecraft. I didn't know where to begin or whatever, so I got the audio book um, from the H.P. Uh, Lovecraft uh uh, what is it? The Society. They, they have a, a thing, an audio book. And it's really done. It's done very well. The two gentlemen that are reading it, it's well produced. It's, it reminds me of an old-time radio broadcast, which is one of my favorite Sirius XM channels is to listen to those old radio broadcasts. I, I love those shows, especially around now in Christmas. That's like the best time to listen to those. But um, usually I catch a nice Sherlock Holmes uh, story on the way home from work. But um, so I figured, all right. Let's see what the, all the hoopla is about with H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. And I'll go, I'll have something to say when I get down to his grave and talk about him and, and whatnot. But that didn't happen. But I did get the audiobook. I've been listening to the audiobook. And I like how he writes his style of writing. However, and his descriptions are pretty good. But he doesn't do too much for me, which is surprising. I thought I really would be into him more than I. I am. Now, Mountains of Madness, I think I liked uh, the best. I think that's my favorite story. And then, uh, is it Mountains of Madness? Mountains, Mountains of Madness, I think. And then I uh, also liked, um, what's the other one? Ah, The Call of Cthulhu, which is pretty good. That wasn't bad. The other ones, they're okay. I mean, for someone that was influenced, I believe, by Poe, and various others, I would have thought it would have been, I don't know. I don't know, for me, it's not hitting the way I thought it was. I was maybe I had my expectations up too high, I think, with uh, HP. But um, enjoyable, nonetheless. I'll probably add uh, The Call of Cthulhu and Mountains of Madness to the library, the Shed Library. I think that's worthy of, of, of adding to the library. Um... But his other stories, I don't know. I'm still going through. There's like 46 hours of content to get through. I'm at, well, let's see. Let's let's see where I am at. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I am on uh, The Dream, Quest of the Unknown Kadath. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, so, yeah. I got, a, I got a ways to go. I still got um, Dunwich Hara. Evil clergyman. I got like a whole, whole thing to go through before I can make final judgment on HP. But so far, let's see. What have I done? I've done, I've done quite a bit actually. Well, now that I look at it. So we got the Alchemist. That wasn't bad. Mountains of Madness. That's probably my favorite. Uh, the Beast in the Cave. That was a good one too. I like that. Uh, the Beyond the Wall of Sleep. I mean, they're good. The book I thought was very interesting. It's very short, but it was very interesting. The Call of Cthulhu, which was actually shorter than I thought, that story. Um, uh, the case of Dex Charles Dexter Ward, which is interesting. What I loved about the, these stories, and I'm just getting reminded that now that I read that, is like they mention Providence, streets. They mention a building that's in that uh, the, uh, the case of Charles Dexter Ward, of a house that's over by RISD and College Hill. And... I know where, I've seen that house a million times and I never even thought about it and whatnot. So they mention things and I'm like, oh yeah, all right. There's stuff that I would know as a Rhode Islander that I, I don't think people from 
that are into Lovecraft that didn't grow up around here could appreciate as much as a Rhode Islander. So I do like that little nugget in his books. But overall, not bad. Just not as crazy as I thought it was going to be, right? Like, I, I thought it was going to be, like, whoa, I was going to be wowed <laughs> at the end of the day. I mean, I kind of am because of the way his writing style is. But I guess, I don't know. Like this blend, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Actually, I think it's, I think when I had it last year, this blend was a little stronger. And now it's kind of subdued, so it's not as bad as when I, if I'm trying to remember from a year ago, it's not as punchy as it was, right? It's, it's not, it doesn't, like the Latakia and the Perique aren't hitting you as hard as I recall. It's a nice way you'd kind of want it. Well, at least me, and I got a little water in my pipe here. See, this is the bad part about not felted pipes. Um, mainly, <laughs> yes, you get a little gurgle, but but for me, it's getting the tobacco little pieces that fly up at you. I don't believe this blend, they made a, made another thing of it. I don't think they did another run. This was blended on 9721. So it's last year. Small batch. It's part of the old ones. I think they did. I can't remember what the other ones were. <laughs> of course, that's a, a reference that you hear in, in his novels, in his books. But Lovecraft, his stories, worth checking out. They were interesting. And again, it kind of brings you back to that wonder, you know. And I was thinking of this the other day because I forget. In the intro of this, uh, I don't want to say podcast, obviously. The audiobook, they have an intro and they talk about things. And they were talking about, they were mysteries of the world still. Like Antarctica was just explored, so to speak, at this time. Uh, all these things are going on. We didn't know about this, that, or the other. Um... And so there was a lot of wonder and mystery. And of course, we know now all these other things. And you just go back. Uh, part of the thing when you go back to these old books, which I love, is because it was such a different time. They wrote differently. They, they had different experiences. But yet they had the same experiences as us. But there was things that were going on that, you know. And they weren't too far off the mark on some things, like scientifically or whatever. So... It's just always interesting to go back to the, the classics, if you, if you will. But, you know, I was also thinking, because they're into back again, an old YouTube channel that I don't know what happened to him, if he even does that anymore. I don't think he does. I don't think he's done a video in about a year, um, sadly. He was doing a, a video series where he talks about pipes that pair with books, like in blends and all that stuff, which is interesting. And uh, oh, the other thing I love about old books... And especially like the All Quiet on the Western Front, uh, obviously Christopher Marley stuff. There's a lot of pipe references. Uh, there might have been a few in these stories too. I think there was. I think I counted two. I think. Um, I don't know. I was listening at night. I fall asleep. And I wake up. I got to go back to where I was. But um, those books, they, you know, with the people used to smoke pipes and everything. So I, I just think it's very interesting that, you know, people talk about pairing alcohol with this food or that and whatnot but you know what pairs well with a book a pipe it's a beautiful thing i wish people more people knew about it because reading a book with a pipe is extra special i think but anyway i'm rambling i 
If you want to know about, more about this pipe, go to Herb Booth. I think he has an Itsy store. Um, I did a video the first year of this channel, and I put his link in there if you want to go and dig and look for it. I'm not going to put links because then, you know, YouTube gets all upset or whatever. And I don't know Herb or anything like that. I just wanted a custom Halloween pipe, and that's where I went. It seems like it's gotten darker, actually. And it's, it doesn't show up on camera. The lights make it brighter than what it is. It's, it's nice, like, burnt orange kind of color. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I think this was a good second time around. I think it's uh, a much better blend this second time around. I like it. Um, it's not... Doesn't wow me, but it's it's good. I'm glad I have it, and I'll probably have. I think I got another tin of this, to be honest. I think I got two tins, so it's around somewhere. But uh, I'm glad I have it. It's a good, it's a good Halloween, fall kind of blend to have, uh, if you can find it. I, I don't think you can now, but anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining, and take care.